The music industry? No. The world is full of lies, greed, and deception. And one of the biggest lies you hear is the phrase, fake it till you make it. I think this is the dumbest phrase in the world, and I'm going to tell you why you should not fake it till you make it. Starting now. How's it going, guys and gals? My name's Trevor Hunt. I'm an Indiana singer-songwriter. It's nice to meet you if you're new here. If you're not new here, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm still working on that next song. It's gonna be out soon. As I told you before, I'm putting tons more effort into these songs. I'm actually working with other musicians. I want them to be solid. So I have more time to do some vlogs like this. Right now, my son is actually sleeping in the other room. So we're gonna jump right into this video. Fake it till you make it is dumb. And I've got some proof. But before we talk about why it's dumb, let's talk about what it means and where it came from. Fake it till you make it, or fake it until you make it, is an English aphorism which suggests that by imitating confidence, competence, and an optimistic mindset, a person can realize those qualities in their real life and achieve the results they seek. The phrase is first attested sometime before 1973. I found that definition just by Googling fake it till you make it. And I've thought about this a long time. Fake it till you make it is essentially lying. And lying is wrong. What has happened to this idea of don't lie to other people? I think a large problem in our society is we put our best selves forward on social media, on YouTube, on everything, and we hope that people think that we're famous or more important than we are, because then we'll attract more people. I get it, right? Like, even me, when I go onto YouTube, if someone's got less than 10,000 subscribers, I think to myself, why don't they have more? And they can't get those subscribers unless people watch them, and people don't want to watch them because they don't have subscribers. And so it's tempting to, like, purchase subscribers or purchase followers or follow for follow to get people to like you or think you're famous. But people see through that deception and that lie. I personally believe, hear me out, I believe that if you're authentically who you are, people will want to watch your content. They'll want to be there with you. Let me sum this up and how I'm hearing it. Lie to your fans that you're rich and famous so that you can get more fans and actually become rich and famous. Lying is wrong. Let's say it again. Lying is wrong. I will never lie to you. Never. I have 1,034 subscribers as of recording this video. I have like 1,000 on Instagram and I have like 3,000 on Facebook. I didn't buy those followers. I have never ever bought, paid for, had bots subscribe to my channel, I, I will never do that. I will never lie to you because for, for one, like I know the truth. I know deep down that the 50 views this video is gonna get when I put it out, those are 50 real people. And I think people forget, especially in this creator influencer world, is that I, I may be talking into a camera, but I'm talking to a person. Like you watching this, you're a person not a number. That's why I wouldn't lie to you. I'm not trying to use you to get famous or to get views. I'm just trying to produce content that you'll enjoy. My job is to entertain you, not the other way around. It's not your job to provide for me. So fake it till you make it is lying to you, the people that are supporting you. Why would you do that? If you're a musician, don't pretend, don't pretend like you're better than you are. And here's why I got upset with this. I know a guy, let's call him Mark, okay? I know a guy named Mark who is from a different state, but Mark put out his first song on YouTube. He had 30 something subscribers. Now, I know Mark because he reached out to me. Mark's song in the first day got 20,000 views in the first day with 34 subscribers. His Instagram has like 100 followers, but overnight, all of a sudden he's got like 8,000 followers, but they're all weird, obscure accounts. Hmm, what did Mark do? Mark did what a lot of musicians are very tempted to do. Mark bought followers and subscribers. Now the problem with this is, people aren't really listening to your song, Mark. People don't really care. No one's really listening. Yeah, you fooled that kid in fifth grade or whatever who happened to stumble upon you, but you didn't fool anybody else, okay? Maybe you fooled some friends on Facebook, but people hear your song, Mark. People know your song's not good. So you're faking it? It's never gonna make it, okay? I got an idea. How about we be authentic and people enjoy what we do? And then, from our authenticity, we build actual real fans. What, are, what is that a crazy, am I crazy here? So I'm, I'm not gonna go on forever. You know what, I may never be rich or famous and that's okay with me because I would rather be completely honest and authentic with you and more importantly with myself and be poor and be a nobody than be rich and famous and be miserable, right? Like I'm happy right now. I don't need 
10,000 subs to be happy. You shouldn't either. Fake it till you make it is stupid and dumb because it's lying. You can't convince me otherwise. And I get it, maybe it's worked for some people. Maybe it has. But deep down, even if it worked for someone, I, I don't think that feels rewarding because it's like cheating. And uh, I, I, I don't know. I believe in the honor system of doing things the old fashioned way. Being real, getting better, working on my craft, putting myself out there, and uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate you personally watching this. Have a great day. God bless, and as always, take it easy.